Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial. And yes, it's been a while that I haven't posted any video. And if you are wondering that what I was doing the whole time, then yes, this is what I was doing. And I was preparing for this masterclass. It's called Product Rendering Masterclass. So it's an in-depth tutorial video for Blender. And if you guys are into 3D modeling, product rendering or something like that, just comment me down on the bottom then I'll post a video on this channel so if not then then I'll post this tutorial soon on my patreon page that's what I was working on too so with that note let's jump into today's video so today we'll be creating a simple poster design as well as on Photoshop so let's go back to the video so here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create a composition so for that go to file click on new and I will just go for 8 by 8 inches and resolution 300. Let's put the color mode at RGB. Let's change the bitrate to 16. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. Right after that, let's uh, add a gradient and let's make it a radial. And from here, let's change the opacity to 100%. And now let's change the color to kind of something like that. And let's change this dark color to kind of lighter, lighter yellow or something like that. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Now let's keep it like that and now let's uh, drag and drop our main image over here and let's change it to smart object and let's turn on the turn off the visibility for now and let's add a text so let's write a number control t let's make it a little bigger or maybe more bigger yeah and let's rasterize this layer and control t right click and let's uh, distort this image so yeah let's add yeah maybe like maybe let's keep it maybe somewhere around here all right now let's turn on the visibility for this layer Control t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right over here let's do some adjustment on this text too let's put it under this layer and Control t let's do a distort again let's maybe let's start somewhere over here I think this is kind of okay for now and now let's uh, add a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a default soft brush and let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's add a contact shadow right over here Control T let's squeeze it and let's add maybe right over here let's make a copy Control J let's make a copy and let's fill it with the, a kind of darker color yep maybe something like that all right now Control T and let's right click and let's do a distort let's keep it right over here I 
and let's change the opacity to something like that and let's add a filter let's go over here let's add a blur and let's add a Gaussian blur maybe somewhere around here all right now let's add some other text so go over here let's add a text and let's change this font let's make it a way bigger and let's right click and let's rasterize the layer and control T again let's add a distort and let's start this text from right from here Keep it from here. All right, and let's keep this. All right, now let's let's add some other tick. Let's make it fifteen. right click let's rasterize the layer control T and let's do a distort again All right, now let's change the color to a kind of darker red, maybe something like that. Now let's select the layer and let's make a group, Control G, and let's put this text layer under this group. And now let's drag and drop this uh, grunge texture over here. And let's change the blending mode to maybe color burn and right click create to clipping max control T let's add a distort again and let's maybe move somewhere over here maybe something like that all right and now let's drag and drop the same picture again and control T let's make it a bigger something like that let's change the color mode to uh, color burn and let's drop down the opacity maybe right over here all right now let's select the layer let's go to the filter and let's apply a camera raw filter and from here let's uh, increase the clarity increase the texture and go to the detail tab and let's increase the noise reduction and let's go to the color mixture and let's drop down the orange a little bit yep something like that now let's add some text on the bottom so go over here let's add a text So yep, that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and I hope you guys love this tutorial and see you guys in the next video.